I don't know how I feel about any of this. Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class, Detritus! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have him in his alt mode, Legacy Evolution! He is a Deluxe Class, Class, Lord, Lord, Class A, Class A, and oh, oh, Transformers! On this side of the box, we have the lovely Legacy see artwork on this side i killed him stay on this side we have detritus and detritus as always some nice artwork up top qr code you want to scan it go ahead free scan on me you're welcome on the bottom words things barcodes on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots evo fusion and that's basically it for other oh, packaging and moving right along, here we have Detritus, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly, so do bear with me if I'm getting it wrong. Uh, but yeah, um, I know nothing of this character, so I looked him up, and apparently he's a Junkion? Question mark? Okay. And um, apparently he, you know, he doesn't really have any affiliation to either side. He basically takes the side of whoever is winning, hence why he has an Autobot symbol on his shoulder and a Decepticon symbol on what will be the hood of the uh, alt mode. So yeah, he just, you know, he goes with, he goes with whoever's winning, you know, which, you know, hey, 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 you do you, buddy. You do you. But as you can clearly see, this is Hound. And this is a uh, heavy remold of the Siege Hound mold. Now, this is what I read. Now, apparently this mold is going to be used for the 86 Studio Series Hound. Um, and if that's the case, it's hilarious that the repaints came out before the, you know, properly colored version. But hey, it is what it is. But yes, here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at that belly, but at that noggin. There's that noggin. As you can see, it's a very hound head sculpt because, I mean, it's hound's head. It is hound's head. Uh, they did actually, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but they did actually kind of paint in like a gold goatee. You can see the chin, but there's also some gold that goes up the sides. Again, don't know how well you can see that, but it's there. He actually has like a full-on like kind of goatee going on <laughs> in there. Um, you got some silver for the headlights, some um, gold paint right there. Um, again, the Autobot symbol on the shoulder. We got some red. And some gold there on the wrists. And some of that kind of, you know, spicy mustard color going on there. Some brown and red. Dozies, wheelies, rims picked out in silver. And move over to the back. Not much to talk about. Let's see how small of his back there is hollowed out, but that's for the alt mode. That's going to be the, uh, the seats, basically. Oh, uh, yeah. Nothing really of a backpack going on there. So, there you go. Now, articulation-wise, what have we got? Well, um, the head can rotate. It can do a full 360. Um, you can move it up and down a little bit. No real side-to-side. -side. Arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. You got bicep rotation. You have slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Wrist rotation, waist rotation, legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits and a little extra. Um, you have thigh rotation, you have nice deep knee bend going on there, although some things may come undone. But as far as the feet go, oh, the toes can move up, um, they can move down, and you have lots of ankle tiltage. Now as far as accessories go, you do get his... Uh, shoulder launcher here with the gold missile this can be removed and both of these pieces are done in clear plastic and then painted over so you just plug that in there and this will plug right up on a shoulder you can plug it into either side if you want to but you can do that and you also get this right here again it is done in clear plastic and painted over in the gold and if you want to I me mean, if you want to you can plug that into his shoulder as well have that going on or you can plug that into his hands so you can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and all of that good stuff right there and is it bluish compatible is it is it is it is it is it it is and we can do a big old detritus 
Bloosh. For Junkion? Question mark? Oh. But another thing we can do here with the weapons is the Evo Fusion. Oh, yes, we can do all that Evo Fusioning. So what we do is we remove the, uh, the missile here. And we plug these two weapons together, and it just makes a big old like rifle going on here. And you take the missile, and you can plug it onto either of these two posts, and that's what they want you to do there. And that is it. There is your Evo Fusion. Hooray! Hooray for Evo Fusioning. And is this Bloosh compatible? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? It is. But you already got your Bloosh. Don't be greedy. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with uh, Rutgar, because, uh, be because Junkions, question mark, here he is with Earthrise Prime, and here he is with Siege Hound, so you can see just how much uh, remolding they did to the figure here. I'll give you the turnaround, so you can see who's who, where's what, why's when, and when's how. All are important. You can see what's going on there. So, oh, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, and I like the design of it. Um, I can't wait to see it in proper hound colors. Um, this color palette, honestly, I don't really care for. This weird, just kind of flesh tone, this doesn't really work, and actually it makes it look kind of knockoffy. Like, I don't really care. The color palette is not doing this mold any favors whatsoever, in my opinion, but as always, to each their own. But anyway, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shoulders and just untab them and rock them back. Uh, we're gonna take this panel behind his head and just bring it forward so it's sitting right up against his head. Take this windshield section and flip it up and it will just plug in right there. Once that is done, you take this whole chest assembly and bring it up. Once you do that, you can take the arms and swing them in. Swing them in, and then you're going to take the arms, rotate them in at the bicep. Rotate it in at the bicep, and we got that section all done for now. And now for the legs, we're just going to untab the section and bring all of this down. Second verse is like the first, untab, bring it all down. And then you want to tab in the two halves like so. Take all this and rotate it up. Keep it together in the process. Make sure you bring these out here so you have your clearance. And that will all just fold up like so. Then you just tab these fender sections onto either side. Take his toes, flip them down on either side. And last step is you have a little tab slot connection right here in the forearm. So just kind of line that up and just drop that down like so. Get all nice and squozen, and there you go. There you have Detritus in his alt mode. Not a bad spin, but there he is in alt mode. And yeah, it's Hound's alt mode. It's Hound's alt mode, but junky on, apparently. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Uh, to the details again we have all this that we've already seen but now we have that decepticon symbol right there on the hood and you got the transclearing plastic there for the windshield you have what looks like the most uncomfortable seats ever that's not how seats work that's just i don't want to sit there at all not not even a little bit um, but we got some nice detail going down the sides again you got some nice silver paint there for the rims back not too much to talk about there is the top there is the bottom he does have that visible head syndrome visible lot syndrome he does roll as rolling things should hooray hooray for rolling and for comparison here he is with earthrise prime with Rekdar again because junkions and here he is with siege hound so again, you can see just what they did here 
to the mold to get to this point. Give it a turn around there. And you can see what's going on. So, and there you go. Now, as far as the weaponry goes, you can store them in the alt mode, and you actually have various ports here you can use, but per the instructions, they want you to plug them back here. So, always things you can do if you want to do them, you can display it however you wish. So, uh, there you go. So there you have Detritus, and um, yeah, it's not a bad mold, I just don't care for the color palette, like, at all. Like I said earlier, it just makes it look like a knockoff. The color palette just doesn't do this mold any favors whatsoever, so I can't wait to have this mold in proper hound colors. Both modes look good, so, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a good mold, just not a fan of the colors at all, but... It is what it is, so there you go. Now, I picked this up from Robot Kingdom, but you can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on X, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Detritus, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Boom in your face! What's up? The hound? Is that you? Hound? Who's hound? Oh, sorry. You uh, just look like a very pale version of a friend of mine. Now, oh, yeah, I've been told I should get some more sun. That would probably be best. Get lots of sun. So much sun. Hey, I have a shuttle you can borrow. Get as close to the sun as possible. The heat shields don't work, but you know what? It'll be to your benefit. Okay, now I just feel like you're trying to get rid of me. Oh, no, of course not. Now get out of here before I have you executed.